Let's explore how to find whether a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. To do that, we need to first understand this idea of strong acids and bases and uh, weak acids and bases. What are they? Well, strong acids and bases are the ones that dissociate completely when you put them in a solution, and weak acids and bases are the ones that dissociate partially when you put them in the solution. For example, if you consider acids like HCl or H2SO4, if you put them in, in, in uh, you know, put them in water, for example, then you will see that H and Ca will completely dissociate to give you hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. Same would be the case over here. Hydrogen ions and the sulfate ions would completely dissociate. And that's why we call them as strong acids. Similarly, if you take bases like NaOH or calcium hydroxide, you will see that they would completely, this for example, would completely dissociate into Na plus ions and OH minus ions. And that's why these are called strong bases. On the other hand, if you take acids like acetic acid or H2CO3, which is called carbonic acid, if you put them in water, we see that not all the acidic ions, uh, acidic molecules, acid, yeah, these are molecules, acidic molecules will dissociate to give you H plus ions and CH3CO minus ions. We will see only some of them will dissociate and same is the case over here. That's why we say they dissociate partially, therefore they are weak acids. And same is the case with bases. Like for example, if you have ammonium hydroxide, when you put them in a solution, it doesn't completely dissociate. You'll get only a very few OH minus ions and NH4 plus ions. And that's why they are called weak bases. Now, of course, there are a lot of strong acids and uh, you know, a lot of examples for this, but these are the most common ones that if we remember, we'll be able to answer most of the questions on whether the salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. All right. So with that in mind, let's just take an example of a salt and see how to identify whether it's acidic, basic, or neutral. So for the first example, let's consider this salt. It says ammonium chloride. Okay, how do we know whether this is an acidic salt or a basic salt or it's a neutral salt? The way I like to think about it is, remember that salts are created by combining acids and bases. So the reaction is some acid and some base combines to form this salt and water, right? That's the acid-base neutralization reaction. Now, if it turns out that this acid was strong and the base was weak, then the acidic medium dominates um, and therefore this would be acidic salt. On the other hand, if it turns out that a strong base reacted with a weak acid, then the basic would dominate and then this salt would be basic. And it, if it turns out that both of them were strong or both of them were weak, then this would be just neutral. Neither of them would dominate. Does that make sense? So all we need to figure out is whether these are strong acids or weak acids and strong bases or weak bases. How do we do that? How do we figure out what these acids and bases were? And the way I like to think about it is, let me just dissociate these and see what we get. So if I dissociate NH4Cl, I get NH4 plus and Cl minus ions. And if I dissociate H2O, plus, H2O, I get H plus and OH minus ions. And now I can go back and I can say, look, H must have been with Cl to begin with so that you got HCl. So I know that the acid over here must have been HCl. And similarly, NH4 plus must have been with OH minus, and therefore my base must have been NH4, NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide. And so now I identified what acid and what base combined to give me this, and now I just need to check with this, which is strong and which is base, uh, which is weak. You can see that the acid is the strong acid, and the base is a weak base. Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. So we have a strong acid combining with a weak base, which means acidic medium, this you know, acid dominates, and therefore our salt is acidic. Cool, right? Okay, why don't you try? Here's a sodium carbonate salt. Your goal is to figure out whether this is acidic, basic, or neutral. Try the same method, pause the video and see if you can give it a shot first. All right, let's, let's do it. So again, some acid and base must have combined to give you the salt and water. We need to identify which acid and which base. For that, let me just dissociate these. You get Na plus and CO32 minus. I know that this is CO32 minus because that's the reason why it's combining with 2Na. Um, and similarly, H2O becomes H plus and OH minus. Now, I just go back. Oh, Na plus must have been with OH minus right? 
because positives and negatives, right? So therefore my base must be NaOH and my acid must be HCO3, H2CO3. So my acid must be H2CO3, which is the carbonic acid, which is my weak acid. And my base must be NaOH, which is a strong base. Strong base, weak acid, base dominates. Therefore, this salt must be basic. Okay, here's the third one. Pause the video and give it a shot. All right, let's go. Acid and base must have combined to give you salt plus water. Neutralization reaction. Let's dissociate them and I get Na plus, SO4 two minus, H plus and OH minus. Um, H plus must combine with SO4 two minus. So this must be H two SO4. That's my acid and that's a strong acid. So furic acid is a strong acid. And NaOH, oh, sodium hydroxide. I have a strong base. This time I have a strong acid combining with strong base. Neither of them dominate, which means this must be a neutral salt. Similarly, if we had a weak acid combining with a weak base, we would have again get gotten a neutral salt. And this is how we can identify whether a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral.